Hi, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the live house today. So today I'm the speaker. My name is Liu, so you can just call me Liu, right? So I'm the training counselor for Student Guidance Unit, and today I'm going to give the topic stress management. So, yeah. So before we begin, just let you know about the overall idea about this agenda today is about the general awareness about stress and also some self help tips, okay, to manage your stress. So we say about stress management. Stress is about feeding, right? So we need to understand stress before we how we are going to understand stress is we need to check our feeling so before i going to start the topic today i would like to hear for all you the audience from the facebook audience right yeah how are you feeling right now so let's say you are feeling great can you just type in the chat box in the facebook comment that one up to ten ten that's mean exporting out of control i'm really out of control i get mad right so you can just comment then so yeah so maybe the audience currently is uh, not so many but if you willing really to share please write in the comment and let me know your feeling today all right so and feel free to share this live with your friends your uh, others uni 10 student they can correct the score run from the talk today all right yeah so after this after you checking your feeling and remember your score okay and remember your score because later i will recheck with you again what is your feeling right now before we end the session so that you can see whether your score improved throughout the session today all right yeah so what is stress okay stress is about tensions okay tensions that causing our physical our emotions tensions all right so stress doesn't mean is bad for us because stress actually is our body want to respond to any event that happened in our life that require our attention that's why this stress when stress occur that means we need to deal with something but the problem is whether the pressure that we deal with is it greater than the resource that we have. So imagine you are the guy here, all right? You are carrying a very heavy stone, stone here. So whether the rock here is it too heavy for you, that means we need other resource. We need some resource help us to carry this stone toward the peak or the hills. All right. So the stress occur when the pressure is greater than our resource. So ask yourself, are you currently feeling very stressed? If yes, ask yourself whether the current pressure is greater than your resource. That's why this will also cause us to be worried, to worry about whether we can cope with the event, whether am I really capable to manage the issues can I really settle everything like the assignment task given by a lecturer? Can I do it? Really can do it? Or even in the relationship problem, can I really can uh, communicate with others? All of this will actually cause a stress. And I will also discuss the factor that's caused our stress later on. So just give your basic idea. Stress occur when the our pressures currently is greater than the resourceful that we have right now all right so remember this idea is very important all right yeah so when we start to feel stress but actually there are many feeling within stress okay when you feel stress you also will feel worry okay anxious keep on thinking about the the task that i'm going to do and your body especially your neck until your shoulder here also will feel tense tired frightening okay you're afraid of something okay and then sometimes you are depressed like low energy yeah don't want to do things and sometimes even you feel angry why me why i'm the only one to do all these tasks okay yeah you will start to be anxious and angry and get mad at others okay 
All this is because we are currently feeling stress. And I want to let you know, as a student, as a human being, it's actually very normal for us to feel stress. Okay, it's very normal for us to have feeling because we are human beings, we are not robots, okay? So we have our emotions, we have our feeling, it's okay. So tell yourself, it's okay that I feel stressed right now. But the issues, the main thing is, we need to learn how to manage our stress. That's our going to share some tips for you all, okay? Yeah, so for the stress response, normally we have three uh, responses to deal with the stress. Ask yourself whether you will fight, okay? Fight with your with your stress, okay? When you're having some stress, we maybe like just now you have feel angry about the things, okay? You frustrated a person. Why the lecturer give me so much assignment? I need to do why why uh, my teammate didn't give me cooperation? Maybe you have some stress and you angry at other or you angry at myself. Why I always last minute until. The last me, I just want to do the assignment. Now I don't have time. Okay, you also will angry at yourself. All right. And then maybe after that, you flight. You want to fly away for the task. You don't want to do the thing. Okay. This all is very normal because it's for us to protect ourselves from stress. When we are really overwhelming with the stress, we will want to fight or we want to flight. And end out, we freeze. Okay, freeze, that's me. We do nothing. We can't really do anything and we're feeling numb. Okay, so all the response is very normal under stress when we are having stress. But the problem is whether we get this response, uh, response until too long. That means is this response only temporary? It's very okay. All right. But if let's say the response Search for all this is like getting maybe one to two days or maybe many days, a few weeks. Okay, we didn't manage the stress well. We didn't deal with the task that we want to do. This stress one day will become chronic stress because we did not deal with the stress. We try to suppress the stress. So this will become an issue later. So we want to avoid that our Normal stress become chronic stress. How we going to deal with it is we can choose the fault response. The fault response is face it. Okay, face your stress. Tell yourself, okay, sometimes I can rest. Okay, I can fly. Okay, we also fight or freeze with the stress. Okay, but and out, we need to learn to how to face our stress. All right, so I also will share some tips to how we can face our stress, okay? Right, so we want to face our stress. We need to understand what is the symptom of stress. We need to learn how to differentiate stress and burn out. Sometimes we say, I'm feeling burnt out. Yeah, I cannot tahan anymore, okay? I'm overwhelmed, okay? So do you know the difference between stress and burnt out, okay? For stress, it's actually short-term, okay? But burnout is long-term. It's like you accumulate the stress until one day, this stress becomes chronic, okay? So you can check the sentence here, all right? Burnout is accumulate of unchecked stress over a long period. That's why when you accumulate all the stress, the stress one day will become chronic stress until you, you burn out. So when you burn out, you don't want to engage with the task. You don't want to engage to the world anymore. Maybe you will listen away. You're feeling numb. You're feeling nothing. You don't have any energy. All right. You feel helpless. And this all were torturing your emotions. Okay. And this may also lead to depressions. All right. So in order for us to prevent the burnout, we need to recognize stress. Okay, so that's why I'm going to teach you all how to manage the stress because as long as we can manage the stress, we can prevent us to be burnt out later. So prevention is always better than cure, right? So now we are learning how to prevent us to be burnt out later by managing our stress today, All right. So what is stress? Stress is, okay, you got some tasks coming 
like then you will overreact oh i'm so stressed okay what to do okay so you still have the feeling urgency to do hyperactive okay i want to do this okay i plan okay but sometimes when the stress is over a long period you sometimes you'll feel low energy oh, can i rest for a while yeah, i'm so tired okay so sometimes this will cause our physically our body to feel tired and this also may lead to anxiety are you worrying right still remember the feeling of stress one of it worrying anxious okay so all this is very normal under our stress level all right yeah so now you have the basic idea what is the difference between stress and burnout now we move on to the next one okay so today we are going to focus on stress but not burnout all right the burnout just to give you a brief idea okay so we can learn how to prevent from the burnout by managing our stress so there are two types of stress okay first is positive stress another one is negative stress so things for this graph right it's actually very okay that we're having stress because in our daily life we cannot avoid from doing things right there are there's a certain there are many things that we need to complete okay as a human being we have our own value we have our own missions as a student we need to do the assignment exam okay as a employee employer we also have many tasks that's why this is our value as a human being so definitely there are some events that we need to deal with that causing us stress but we can see if we don't have stress at all like during the same breath, okay? Maybe we'll feel like, oh, I just want to sleep or I don't have stress anymore. But I'll feel sleepy, also fatty. Do you feel some some kind of feeling like this? Like you nothing to do, you also feel boring, right? So this don't have any stress. So you see, the amount of stress level here is low and the performance also low. We don't want to perform anything. That things are nothing to perform as well. So with some certain level of stress, this quality stress will stimulate us to perform better. So you can see if our stress amount is between this range, right? This will help us to really perform well and actually can achieve good result, okay, good performance. All right. So this is the achievement zone. All right can give us more satisfactions okay creative those so we need to know how to manage our stress so that this will maintain uh that we can manage the stress under the positive way all right but if we didn't we don't know how to manage the stress then this positive share one day may be over remember when our pressure is greater than our resource we will feel stress and until one day, this maybe will become negative stress or corny stress. This excessive stress will cause us to be pressure, fatty, anxiety, exhausted, loss of control, very badly. Ah, I'm so helpless. I don't know what to do. Okay, now and out we become burnt out. They I shared just now, okay? The depressions. All right. So this graph gives us the great like the big picture like how we can manage the stress okay so we try to manage our stress everything this level all right so tell us how it's okay we can manage the stress well and use this stress change it into a good energy that can support our life and can achieve something better all right yeah so by then i want to show you all one uh youtube that to better understand how stress can make us sick all right so give me a moment i will share you all this okay all right Things get more to do Stress is a feeling we all experience when we are challenged or overwhelmed. But more than just an emotion, stress is a hard physical response that travels throughout your entire body. In the short term, 
stress be contagious, but when act too often or too long, fight flight response not only changes your brain, but also damages many of the other organs and cells throughout your body. Your adrenal This is the stress from pulse of norepinephrine. As these hormones travel through your bloodstream, they easily reach your blood vessels and adrenaline causes your heart to beat faster and raises your blood pressure, over time causing hypertension. Cortisol also cause the endothelium or inner wall of blood vessels to not function normally. So that this is an early step in triggering the process Growth or cholesterol built in your arteries. Together, these changes increase your chances of a heart attack or stroke. When your brain senses stress, it activates your autonomic nervous system. Through this network of nerve connections, your big brain communicates stress to your enteric or intestinal nervous system. Besides causing butterflies in your stomach, this brain gut connection can disturb the natural rhythmic contractions that move food through your gut, leading to irritable bowel syndrome, and can increase your gut sensitivity to acid, making you more likely to feel heartburn. Via the gut's nervous system, stress can also change the composition and function of your gut back, which may affect your digestive and overall health. Speaking of digestion, does the stress affect your waistline? Well, yes. Cortisol can increase your appetite. It allows your body to replenish your energy stores with energy-dense foods and carbs, causing you to crave comfort foods. High cortisol can also cause you to put on those extra calories as a visceral or eat bad fats make it harder to button your pants. It is an organ that actively releases hormones an immune system called cytokines that can increase your risk of developing chronic diseases such as heart disease and insulin resistance. Meanwhile, stress hormones affect immune cells in a variety of ways. Initially, they help prepare to fight invaders and heal after injury, but chronic stress can dampen the function of some immune cells, make you more susceptible to infections, and slow the rate of heal. Want to live long life? have to curb your chronic stress. That's because it has even been associated with shortened telomeres, the shoelace tip ends of chromosomes that measure a cell's age. Telomeres cap chromosomes to allow DNA to get copied every time a cell divides without damaging the cell's code and with cell division. When telomeres become too short, a cell can longer divide and it dies. As if all that weren't enough, Chronic stress has even more ways it can sabotage your health, including acne, hair loss, sexual dysfunction, headaches, muscle tension, difficulty concentrating, fatigue, and irritability. So, what does all this mean for you? Your life will always be situations, but matters to your brain and to your body is how you respond to that stress. If you can view those situations as challenges, control master rather than as threats that are insurmountable you will perform better in the short run and stay healthy all right okay so from the video just now we get to understand how stress can actually make us sit and how the stress can affect our whole body and before i proceed i noticed there are comment from facebook here is like um from steve Rennie, when i mentioned so name correctly okay yeah does the stress response also can be called coping mechanism yes so like the video shared just now our life is full of stress right like it's like a stressful event there are many stressful events happening in our life but the, the main thing is whether we can manage it we can take all this as the positive challenge in our life and see how we can cope so the coping mechanism is quite important the coping mechanism that means 
what is our way to perceive the thing and cope with the stress so stress that's from the face okay normally we will fight flight and also freeze okay so there are another coping mechanism that we can use is face it okay that i will going to sh share how we can really manage the stress this call as how we face the stress okay so thank you for your question Wendy. okay and i also saw like others um another three participants as well fahana and the Tari, Tari also mentions about your mood today okay i think it's almost five five right so it's still considered okay all right so if let's say uh, other participants you also want to share your feeling so feel free to also share your feeling later on before we end this uh, presentation i will share the slide later to check your current feeling okay yeah so go back to um, this slide all right so from the video just now we start to understand the some symptom okay how why we need to know the symptom is because awareness is very important for us to can really manage the stress so first thing ask yourself do you have the awareness okay aware do you aware about the symptom of stress so we need to understand the symptom of stress so that we can really aware ah i'm really stressed right now okay so this is the purpose why we need to learn the symptom is for not for us to self-diagnose we are stressed but it's for us to self aware yeah currently having stress so um yeah i need to learn how to manage the stress okay so do you have like from the head you can you can see the stress can affect from the head until our bottom body bottom part of our body right so the stress can affect us to like cannot really concentrate well had that problem anxious quite angry all right and sometimes you will feel like you no know, have feeling and then yeah muscle tensions okay and just now the video also share like the stomach problem how the uh, stress can affect our maybe our stomach functioning well and also some heart disease if the stress become chronic stress okay this one is the normal stress uh? yeah so and we also will feel uh, fatty tired okay and the sex drive also will decrease so we can see stress just one feeling of stress this will already cause us our body to have many responses okay yeah so all these so that's being stress is actually very good that this symptom is actually very good that for us to start to aware yeah i'm carrying having stress so um, what is my current step right now am i like overwhelming am i doing something that is over my capacity capability so can i ask for help yeah so all these symptoms actually is good for us to start to aware and ask for help and do something okay so that we can reduce our stress level all right and then we need to start to learn about how the stress okay what are the root cause okay or the reason that causing us to be stressed this one is the stressor yeah okay so from here these pictures we start to understand actually not only one factor that's causing a stress there are many factors that for external and also internal factor that cause us to be stressed so after we start to aware that okay i currently having the stress symptom so now assess yourself like what are the root cause of all this stress okay is it for external or is it for internal okay so you can go through this this and check yourself okay okay first one is the physical environment so if you are the student you're currently studying in uni then okay i find uni then is quite quiet okay so for the quiet 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 doesn't the phys physical environment is it good for you to study like brightness okay everything good okay if this one check okay good how about social interactions do you have friends do you have classmates good classmates that we can work together okay so friendship the relationship that with others with family actually can affect our stress level all right and third one is organizations uh, whether the deadline okay set by the boss okay if you are employer set by the boss or your lecturer okay is it too short okay all these are uh, example unit 10 rules okay the assignment due that 
all this is uh, under the organization. So all this also cause us stress. But is it means that we just plan on this external factor? Don't forget that we also have the internal factor that I will going to share later on. Yeah. So this one is just for you to start to understand some factor of your stress. Okay. And also, do you experience some major life event like a birth? Maybe some lady they give birth that like, give birth to a baby. They also will feel stress because this is their first life experience. All right. And also like. Do you experience like losing someone significant person in your life, your family members or your relative, someone very important in your life? This also will cause us uh, to have the to experience your grief stage. Okay, we will definitely feel sad. Also, we we'll feel stress about this. We don't know how to do with all these major life event. And maybe you lost a job. You kindly want to searching for internship, but you cannot find. So you also will feel. So stress, how can I really can start my internship? So all this is can consider the major life event. And also the lady hazards is like your very routine, like how you go to uni, then how you go to the classes, your transport, you need to settle. Everything, this minor, minor thing also causes stress. So all these external factors that's causing by our external environment. Okay, how about internal? So... Besides external, we also need to do inside, into ourselves, okay? Our inner hearts, okay? Are yourself, are your current lifestyle healthy? Do you have good sleep, like inner sleep, okay? Long hours of sleep doesn't mean they have good quality. So do you have really good quality of sleep? So uh, try to have the successful sleeping habit, good sleeping habit, like uh, maybe uh, 11, you need to sleep and what time you need to wake up, make it uh, become a healthy routine. So do you have enough sleep? And also, do you overtake some uh, ca caffeine? Okay, if you overtake some caffeine, this will also causing you stress. Okay, so the healthy lifestyle is so very important. And especially during the assignment bit on, we are near to exam later, where you have some negative self-talk and start to like criticize yourself while knowing why I'm not doing well enough, okay? Why I'm so bad? Why I'm not good enough, okay? This, all these uh, self-criticism or you try to have this kind of negative self-talk was also causing your stress level even worse, okay? You're really so stressed and you start to criticize yourself again. This will make your stress level even worse. And some mind trap is like whether I'm good and I'm bad. Okay, the world is not only black and white. Sometimes we have gray, right? Although sometimes we think that we are not good enough compared to others peers, but we can look into ourselves and ask, asking yourself whether I improve compared to the yesterday me. Maybe I have improved. So if I keep on compared to others, I track in my mind that and keep talking my, to myself, some negative talk, all this will causing our stress level even worse. Do you want to really do something harm to yourself, right? So we can learn how to take care of ourselves that I will going to share later on. And personality trait, what kind of personality will really causing a person to be so stressful? One is perfectionist, okay? If Okay, if we really want to become someone is very perfect, and can can we really find something is perfect in this world? But we try to make ourselves, forcing ourselves to be perfect in order to achieve something good. It's actually good that we put in effort and we want to be perfect because we want to achieve something is like great achievement. It's okay, but if we pushing ourselves too hard until perfect right so asking yourself that is there any perfecting in this world but i try to push myself to be perfect so is this really realistic okay let's go to the mind trend is, is the goal that we set realistic if not realistic this will even make our stress level higher because we definitely cannot reach the goal achieve the goal that we set and we wasn't our stress 
you see so the perfectionist and also workaholic like you overwork okay work smart but not work until too hard we are human beings sometimes we also need to rest okay so now after we starting to understand what are the factors that causing a stress uh, for external actually normally our stress level will be caused by both external and internal okay so external can we change can we really change our external factor like change our environment sometimes it's very hard right we cannot like quit uni then right but what we can change is as a student we can change our internal okay we can change our lifestyle we can change though uh, self-taught negative one to be more healthier we can encourage ourselves okay the personality although hard to change doesn't mean that cannot change we can slowly and more encourage ourselves although i'm perfectionist yeah it's okay i learned that it actually got good thing for professionally but how can i really can reduce my expectation to more realistic so that i can achieve and i can be happier later on so this is why we need to understand the the stressor okay all right so now we are going to go to the west to manage after we know okay aware about the sinner okay they can nice okay learn about okay what is the symptom for stress and burn out and we also learn about uh, the root cause okay what is the factor for stress okay so ask yourself whether your stress is because the current pressure is greater than the resource you don't have the resource or can reduce our resource or either we can reduce our pressure by reduce our expectation okay yeah how you can switch okay so that our stress level can be reduced so after we identify the factor of stress now we need to address okay see how we can uh, slowly learn and manage the event okay and time management is rest very very important especially for students or even though you are a worker okay employer every one of us have only 24 hours but how we're going to utilize the 24 hours to the fullness is sometimes we also need to take care ourselves okay we can add hours work at our sleep and another eight hour is for ourselves all right so we need to learn that there are many things that we need to do but what are the priority of the event okay there are so many assignments but which deadline is closer and which one is the important one so your lecturer there are 14 weeks so lecturer given your the assignment 14 weeks ago right so we can really start to plan ahead and we can do it weekly okay like slowly but steady we are towards the goal so after the 14 week we already settled the assignment so please uh, try don't be too last minute and procrastinate because procrastinate also will cause our stress even even worse okay imagine examinations uh, we last minute study so the two days or one days ago definitely we are very stressed because there's so many things to study but i haven't studied you see so now you know that we can manage our stress so now you can plan before the exam week you can plan ahead and before the assignment you that we also can plan ahead and just do it okay this will help yourself so the fourth one is to take care of yourself okay so how we can take care of ourselves for the self-care purpose there are five aspects so physically just now i cover about sleeping habit okay so sleep well Okay, give yourself enough sleep, although there are many things to do. Tell yourself, I'm human, I need to rest. Okay, and then this one, you can go to gym, sport, okay, and eating healthy food and social, okay, having uh, fun with your friend, family, just enjoy your day, okay. We need to social with other and also for mental part, sometimes we can play again watching entertainment is actually okay for us to recharge ourselves to feel relaxed and then emotional okay and we need someone to speak with okay 
just express your feeling even though you feel stressed you can actually tell your friend your family and even you can seek for the professional help from counselor okay we have the uh, many trainee counselor okay from student guidance union unit then here we provide a free counseling service so you can also looking for us you can and speak up with us okay you are not alone don't try to face everything yourself okay as a human being we can support each other and we can grow together throughout this journey all right and then for the spiritual if everyone on earth if you have the religious it's very good that we can practice the religions practice as well you can uh, go to prayer all right do some meditations and yeah for your healthy well-being all right yeah so the religion part also will help us to be having a healthier lifestyle all right yeah and and then after we learn that the cell care now we need to do some regular exercise okay so do exercise is very good that so that this can release some uh, hormone happy healthier hormone in our body let us feel more positive and energy Okay, now I want to uh, get you all to do deep breathing exercise. Okay, so how we can do the deep breathing exercise? You can see four, four, four. Okay, how we're going to do is, okay, so now in, if you are sitting on the chair, you can just sit straight but relax. Okay, you can sit straight but relax the body. Okay, now find a very comfortable positions okay it's posture and now we are going to start to do i want to invite all of you to do the deep breathing exercise with me now we are learning to use nose here four second breathe in all right after you breathe in four seconds using your nose you hold 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 the breath for four seconds okay and then after you hold the breath for four seconds now we breathe out using our mouth here for a second so now i will guide you all and follow the space now we breathe in two three four hold two three four out two three four in two three four Hold two, three, four. Out two, three, four. In two, three, four. Hold two, three, four. Out two, three, four. In two, three, four. Hold two, three. Out two three four in two three four hold two three four out two three four okay now we can back to our body back to this moment so you can you can comment if you manage to follow my instruction just now and let me see whether you can follow and how do you really feel after you taking the deep breathing exercise with me okay so when you are alone or even though you are beside with people you can whenever you feel shy or you having some emotion you can just take this deep breathing exercise back to your body okay and you can close your eyes if you if you want okay then you take this deep breathing so do you notice any change in your body yeah so you also can comment in the chat box so that i can know like is there any different before you do this deep breathing exercise and after okay and and i also have another technique that uh, i'm going to teach you is about mindfulness so i will going to share this stop okay stop practice exercise okay and on um, in the next slide and last tips for the managing share is seek for professional help okay like the counselor or the men mental health professions okay yeah so 
the next slide. All right, so this one is the stop panic for stress management. Okay, stop, right? S is for you to stop. Whenever you feel really stressed, okay, okay, I can overwhelming, ask yourself to stop. Okay, you have the right to stop. All right, so just stop it and then take a deep breath. Like just now I share with you, you can take some deep breathing exercise uh, at least five times. Then you can really sense the impact, okay? So you take a deep five time per cycle. You take the deep breathing exercise, slowly through your nose, expanding your belly, and then exhale slowly out your, your mouth. And then you observe, okay, what am I thinking right now? Or what is the feeling that I feel right now? Okay, you observe, stop, right? So all is observe. What is happening in my body? Okay, and then lastly, you pause it. After you're doing this, right, you are you feel calmer. Okay, and then you just pause it. Okay, so what is the one thing? Just focus on one thing that I need to focus right now. I need to do right now. What is the most important and the urgent priority that I need to do right now? Okay, so you can do this exercise and I will share with you a very short video just for three minutes. Okay, uh, let me present. So you will just follow this uh, video by one professional mental health professional doctor to do this talk practice. Okay. Wait a few seconds. Let's see the side. All right. Now let's, let's do the stop practice. So just beginning to, to once again get comfortable in the position that you're in. Almost as if you're just relaxing into this moment. And just stopping whatever you're doing. A few deep breaths. And as you're taking these breaths, see if you can pay attention to the sensation of the breath coming in and the sensation of the breath going out as if this was the first time you've ever noticed this breath before. To observe in this moment, and the experience includes your body, your emotions, your thoughts. And so beginning with the body, noticing the positioning of this body right now, and gently scan the body to notice any sensations that are there. And being aware of any emotions that are present too. In this moment, if there's a sense of calm or restlessness or neutron. And being Aware if mind is in this one of here, or if it's distracted in the church or the past, gently guiding it back to this moment. And we'll end by just proceeding. And as we proceed, we want to ask ourselves the question most important right now to pay attention to. And whatever comes up in your mind, that's what you'll continue with. Okay, now let's continue. All right, so just now you all have followed the video to do the mindfulness. So currently, uh, for mental health, we actually quite emphasize in the mindfulness. Why mindfulness is so important is because this can help us to be present at this moment. Why sometimes we are so stressed because we keep thinking about the event tomorrow and or we like the fresh back the event yesterday. So the, all this will cause us stress. So share with me your experience and thank you then 
then Nish, you say that feel very relaxed throughout the debriefing exercise just now. And how about the stop technique? Can you all follow the stop technique for this? And how do you feel after you follow the video and do this? And so feel free to share your experience with me. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's all the technique and some ways that I want to share with you all for the today talk and hope you all can enjoy and can learn something. All right. So back to this slide, right? So just give yourself a moment every day to practice this top practice. Uh, even though you can just take a deep breathing exercise that you can just choose some tips that you feel helpful. Okay. There are many things that I shared today, but if you can really take away one tips, I think is very good enough for you all. Okay. Just stop. Remember the stop practice just now, and then you can go through all the, the, stick, the tips here. And lastly, if you are really struggling and uh, struggling and you don't know what to do, okay, you are not around, okay, you can just find us, okay, the training counselor from Student Guidance Unit. We are the counselor here and we are here for you. So you can just speak up with us like what is going on. Okay, we can explore together why the root cause and see how we can develop a plan, healthy plan for you so that you can move, move to work. Okay, yeah, all right. And then, yeah, so due to time constraints, so today we are not going to do the three minute briefing uh, space. If you are interested, you can just uh, search in YouTube later on. All right, so how are you feeling right now after? Uh, listening to this talk, can you just share with me the comment? Because I can see three of you, Fahana, uh, Stimpwendi, and Tari. Just now you write your feeling. So how about right now? Okay, for other participants, feel free to aware that. Okay, how am I feeling right now? Okay, so keep checking your feeling. Actually, will help us to gain the awareness and help ourselves. Okay, to really can deal with our stress later. Okay. Okay, I can see the improvement from Fahana. Good. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so even though you are still feeling not so good, it's okay. And maybe uh, throughout the mindfulness practice just now, you also feel, wow, there are so many thoughts in my mind. I can't really sit still. It's very normal. That's mean in your daily life, you keep on thinking, thinking. So until you want to stop, like your car, you know. You accelerate like 150, 140. Can you really stop? Later on, will be car accident. So we need to slowly learn how to stop, how to take a break, okay? Break your, okay? Break your car and as well break your body. Slowly, we take a break, okay? Slowly, we back to moment by doing the stop practice just now, okay? Wow, okay. I can see Zahim, your score is very high. It's, uh, okay. I'm bonding. Okay, I'm not sure what is going on with you. But uh, if let's say you need any talk with us, it's okay. Feel free to find us later on. All right. Yeah. And then thank you for your response today. I'm very grateful that I can be a speaker today to speak with you to topic about stress management. And just want to share a few quotes. Okay. Almost everything will work again if you unplug it for a few minutes, including yourself. All right, so just now we just do the stop briefing exercise and we do the stop technique. It's okay. Okay, sometimes we can take a rest. Okay, as a human being, we need to rest. Okay, tell yourself it's okay for me to take a breath. Okay, and then the way to get started is stop talking and begin doing. All right, because I share a lot of tips with you all. If you all didn't take any actions, the stress is still there. So, we need to just do it, okay? Just do the tips that I share with you all and see how your stress level can be managed or reduced, all right? And then just a summary for today, life is a journey, not a destination. So just enjoy it, okay? So during the journey, we just take this as a learning journey. We keep on learning many things or so there are so many things we need to do in our daily life so just enjoy it and please be kind to yourself you are reserved to be loved by yourself if you take care of your health your health will definitely will take care of you too okay so i by then i wishing all of you be well always all right 
and Yen, thank you for attending the talk today. I'm so grateful that you are staying with me until the end of these sessions. So for the score run will be, um, the form will be provided later. So you can just fill in the Google form to get your score run. All right. Yeah. And the score run will, the form will be open up to this Sunday. Okay. So please uh, fill in the form by Sunday. All right because the form will be closed after Sunday. And then this is my poster for my counseling service provider. Kindly, uh, I'm sorry for my individual and career counseling is a full slot. So I just open for good counseling and psychological assessment only. So if you feel you need uh, some psychology test to assess this is not for diagnosis, but it's for you to understand your current mental state for your depression, anxiety, and also stress level. You can just um, book with me the appointment. And I also have some tests for you to understand your career personality, career needs. All right. This can help you to find your internship job. Okay. Um, to let yourself to understand more about yourself. All right. So you can do this psychology test with me. Just uh, scan this and... Also, you can just watch at me, all right? Yeah, to book the for the appointment and also for the group counseling is uh four people in a group. If you can find a, a friend or your peers like four people together, then we can form a group to do the counseling. And if all you want to sign out alone, I can uh find another three member. Okay, then we can form a group. So in a group, we can explore the issues together and see how we can grow together and I change the idea, all right, and to become a better person, all right. So this is from all of me, and even though in SGU we also have other training counselor, they are open for the individual career and group counseling. So if you want to, uh, find so you are not alone. We are many training counselor here. Just sign out the counseling service with us. You can find the poster in our Facebook, all right. Yeah, SGU Facebook. And thank you so much for listening to us. By then, I say thank you very much and wish you all have a nice day, have a nice great weekend ahead. All right, so I will end this talk right now. Thank you for joining me today. And feel free to share your feedback, all right, in, in the Google form as well. Okay, I will see you around. Thank you.